Okay, I'm back again. I just want to say, when I was in Bible college, you know, some people don't know, but I, yeah, I really, I really wrestled in Bible college, and I got, here's my, here's my certificates right here. I'm going to show it to you right there. See, there, it's a, see, it says, right there. Meredith Baptist Bible College, certified that David Nelson is hereby awarded a certificate for outstanding accomplishments in wrestling, varsity. You know, and it's signed by the athletic director, Wellner, Mr. Wellner, Honorable Q. Winnegar, President. That was from 1984 to 85. That was my final year. Okay. You know, when I was home on break, I'd watch Spangoolie. You know, I'd, I watched that stuff. You know, and I was so, right here, here's another one. Here it is. This is for school year 82 to 83. David Nelson Award Outstanding Accomplishments in Wrestling. Okay, wrestling. Okay, signed by Dr. Cedarholm this time. Dr. Cedarholm was our chancellor then, you know, former president. They used to call him Cedar or Dr. Cedarholm. There we go. There's, there's it. There's another one. For 1983 to 84 for wrestling, varsity. David Nelson. Okay, signed by. Coach Wellner and Arnold Q. Weniger. And, you know, and then, oh, and by the way, and here is my photo right here. That's me. There I am, see? And see, I work out a lot. I, I got muscles. I got a little shiner in my eye because uh, I got head butted in my final wrestling match. That's right after my last match. I pinned the guy in two in the second period. Yeah, see, I got a bruise on my arm. See, see I got a shiner there. On my right, it's actually my right, the right eye there. I was like the, I was like the most muscular guy in the team. I didn't have the best record, but you know. And I also bench pressed after Bible College in 1989. You're talking, uh, we're talking four years later. I was in an all-natural bench press contest, and here I am. There I'm holding my trophy with my mom and dad. David Rocky Nelson Center. Holding fifth place trophy with his mom, Harriet Nelson, and dad, David Rocky, who weighed 183 pounds, bench pressed 260 pounds. And there I'm holding my trophy right there, you know. And see, I want to show you something. Look, at I competed in the 198 pound class, even though I weighed 183, I, I, I lifted in the heavyweight. Look at it. You got Paul Wolf, Fred Weissmeller did 3.7. That's the, that's the first cousin of Johnny Weissmeller. Tarzan from the movies. That's right. That's his first cousin. Fred Weissmiller. He's a liquor salesman in Palatine. And there's my name. David knows 260. Think about it. Johnny Weissmiller's cousin that's 370 gets second place. I got fifth place. Yeah, sure. He bench dressed 110 pounds more than me, but you know, he was a lot big. He weighed about 205 pounds. He was a big guy. He was over six foot two. I was five feet four and weighed 183. I had to put coins in my pocket. I had to put a weight belt, a two pound weight belt around my ankle. Like I had, and I wore my clothes and I had to wear my shoes and everything in order to make weight because I wanted to be a heavyweight. I wanted to compete in the heavyweight division because the light heavyweights had like 12 guys competing. But there were six, there were five guys I was competing against. And I figured if I can just beat one of them, I'll get a fifth place trophy at least because they only have trophies for the first fifth places. Sixth place doesn't get a trophy. So I figured I only had to, there was one guy named Fuller I knew I could beat, and I beat him by five pounds. He bench pressed 255. I bench pressed 260. Yeah! So I beat Fuller, man. As you can see right there, right there, you see Robert Fuller down there. Robert Fuller did 255. I beat him by five pounds. So I got the big fifth place trophy, man. You know, and it's out here. It's I got it out there. But anyway, I want to say something. But anyway. I, but when I came home from Bible college, you know, I didn't brag about some, you know, something good, goody good I did. You know, I, that's a lot of, you know what I mean? I wanted to do something different. I wanted to tell them what movies I saw. So when they said, okay, got any testimonies? You know, this is a, the whole student body. Everybody's there. You know, the, the faculty's there, the president, the, you know, the, the, the school counts, the college counselor, the, the president, everybody's there, right? All the faculty members are there, and uh, I stood up, and I raised my hand, and I said, yeah, I saw Dracula versus Frankenstein. <laughs> yeah, yeah, We're, I got it right here. Here's the video, Dracula versus Frank. I saw that on TV at 5.30 in the morning when I was home on break from Bible college. Yeah, 
And the, when I, during Halloween, I made a Frankenstein look. I even made a Frankenstein for Halloween. And that's the same Frankenstein I made in Bible College. I hung it in our dorm window. Dorm number two. And I made that Dracula for Halloween 1983. I made that out of construction paper. That's the same ones that I put in the window. You know, because I wanted to show those Baptists to have some fun. You know, get, you know, I don't, I don't want, I don't want to act like a holier than thou. You know, people need to have some fun. This is why I make these monster movies. One of my former uh, roommates at Bible College, he says, he, he hasn't talked to me in twenty years. He says, Dave, why don't you do movies right? Why don't you redo Sheffier? You know, make a movie about Jesus. Well, you know, I'm, I'm doing one called Jesus Rocks Vegas. It's a comedy where I play Jesus and I. Visit my pal Buddy Barnett, the filmmaker in Vegas, and I'm eating a hot dog on the Vegas Strip at the Mega Dog, and I'm, you know, eating and having a good time. You know, I'm walking past MGM Grand, and I go, Vegas rocks! Jesus loves Vegas! Vegas rocks! You know, and, <laughs> and I show Jesus having a good time. Jesus likes to have fun, too, you know. He'll say, oh, that's not bad, that's not good. Well, Jesus enjoyed himself. He enjoyed meeting people. He was a guest in a lot, a lot of homes there when he was here, man, and he enjoyed meeting people and having a good time. And he, and he turned the water into wine at the wedding, too, so they could enjoy their, themselves that wedding. Yes, yeah, so all there. Some of you Pharisees think that it's wrong to have fun or it's wrong to watch movies. Hey, movies are entertainment. You guys watch movies on TV, so it's okay for me to see it at the theater. It's the same thing, whether I go to the theater or whether I go to watch it at home. Now, you're still watching the same movies, so there. So don't act like you're better because we don't see it at the theater. Well, it's the same thing if you're watching it at home, amen? And quit it being so self-righteous. Have some fun. So many people need to watch Spangoolie and have some fun. They need to watch my movies and buy my stinking movies. This is my movie, Devil Ant. It's not satanic. It's Devil Ant because he eats radiation and he gets big. And he terrorizes Chicago, Akron, Ohio, and Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. That's a Devil Ant. I, I'm almost done with Devil Ant 4. Devil Ant rocks Vegas. And then I'm going to do Devil Ant Rocks Chicago, Devil Ant Rocks Texas, and Devil Ant Rocks Gettysburg, which I already filmed just a few months ago when I was out in Gettysburg for the first time with my friends Mark and, uh, Mark and Regina Kosh and Annabelle and, and my friend Jeremy Crow from Philadelphia. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if you don't enjoy these movies, my Devil Ant's going to get you. Uh, uh, gotcha.